Welcome to this video tutorial on introduction to Excel Miner, data mining add-in in Microsoft Excel. In this tutorial, we will learn how to use the classification tool in Excel Miner. Excel Miner provides us with different tools that can be used to classify data. They are 1. Discriminant Analysis 2. Logistic Regression 3. Classification Tree 4. Naive Base 5th Neural Network and 6th K Nearest Neighbors. Let us look at each of these methods one by one. Classification Discriminant Analysis Method Discriminant Analysis is a technique for classifying a set of observations into predefined classes. This purpose, the purpose is to determine the class of an observation based on a set of variables known as predictors or input variables. The model is built based on a set of observations for which the classes are known. This set of observations is sometimes referred to as a training set. Based on the training set, the technique constructs a set of linear functions of the predictors known as discriminant functions. We will use the wine.xls datasheet as a source of data. This is available as sample data along with the Excel miner add-in. In order to create the classification model, we first need to partition our data into a training dataset and a validation dataset. After creating the partitions, we click on Excel Miner, Classification and then select Discriminant Analysis. A new window is opened in which, in which the variables in the input data have to be selected. Let us select the following variables in the input data and the type variable as the output data. Once the variables have been selected, we click on next and we select according to relative occurrence in training dataset. Using selecting this option, the class probability of each of the type variables is selected according to their relative occurrences in the training data rather than the frequency of their occurrences in the actual dataset. We click on next and then select the values that we wish to find or view in the output. Click on finish and the miner creates the mining model. We can see that the output contains the summary of the inputs provided by us and the classification functions. Since the variable type selected as the output variable has three f three distinct values there are three different functions created and the values for each of the functions have been displayed there is also a training data scoring summary which shows us the classification matrix and the error report for the training data as well as the validation data we can also view the training data detailed report which shows us the probability that a certain row will lie or belong to a class. The class in which the probability is maximum is highlighted and hence it is put in that class as you can see. We go back to the navigator and view the classification functions. It is based on these classification functions that the different variables and rows are classified. This is how we create a classification model using the discriminant analysis tool in Excel Miner. Let us now look at create creating a classification model using the classification trees algorithm. Classification tree, also known as decision tree, are a good choice when the data mining task is classification or prediction of outcomes and the goal is to generate rules that can be easily understood, explained and translated into SQL or natural query language. Classification tree labels records and assigns them to discrete classes. Classification tree can also provide the measure of confidence that a classification is correct. Classification tree is built through a process known as binary recursive partitioning. 
This is an iterative process of splitting the data into partitions and then splitting it up further on each of the branches. Let us see how to create the classification tree. We select the Boston Housing.xls sample data source to create our mining model. We first partition the data into training and validation data sets and we create the mining model on the training data set. To create the mining model, we click on Excel Miner classification and then classification tree. A wizard is opened in which we have to select the variables to be used as the input variables. Let us select the input variables and click on this button. Next we select the output variable and then after selecting here we will have to specify the success class or the value of the output variable. Let us select 1. We also have to specify the speci specify the initial cutoff prob probability value for success. By default it is 0 0.5 which means that a row isn't selected if its probability is below 0 0.5. After providing all the inputs necessary we click on next here we have to set the minimum number of records in the terminal nodes this option is to specify the minimum number of records to be present in the terminal node specifying the number of records helps us to stop the partitioning process at a certain stage in order to prevent the model from being overfitted so we select this to be as to we also select the prune tree option using selecting which says the wizard to create the full tree as well as the prune tree which is a smaller subset of the main tree we click on next and then select the maximum levels of the full tree to be displayed and then select the options to be visible in the output. We may also specify to view a tree with a defined number of de decision nodes. After selecting the output options we click on finish. The output is displayed which contains a summary of the input data as well as the best success rate success class that is a probability of 0 0.5 and also a training log which shows us the percentage error while the process of drawing the tree and also the full tree rules using the training data which was used to create the full tree classification tree we can see that at each level this table gives us the split value, the number of cases and the node type. The node type decision means at this point the nodes or the cases have been split according to a certain rule and if the node type is terminal it means that it, is, it has no further child nodes. This is the rule for the best prune tree using which the best prune tree has been drawn. So now let us look at the actual tree. We click on the full tree option which enables us to view the tree. If we hover the cursor over the node we can see the rule. Here is go left if rm is less than 6.7815 and to the right if it is greater than 6.7815. So this is how simple rules are formed and the nodes are divided into two accordingly and further these nodes are split using different rules we can see here that in this node the rule is that go left if dis is less than 3.4 so you can see that the nodes with which are represented by a box are terminal nodes whereas the nodes which are represented by a circular are parent nodes for the few nodes below. We can view the best prune tree which is 
which is based on the validation data set and is the smallest tree whose misclassification rate is within one standard error of the misclassification rate of the minimum error tree. The minimum error tree is the error tree that is based on applying to the validation data the variable splitting rules developed with the training data. The misclassification error is measured as the tree is pruned back and the, and the tree that produces the lowest error rate is selected. You can also see the rules that have been used to create the minimum error tree. This is how we can cl create a classification model using the classification tree algorithm in Excel Miner. Let us now look at classification model creating creation using naive Bayes theorem. A difficulty arises when you have more than a few variables in classes and we would require a nu numerous number of observations to estimate these possibilities. Naive Bayes classification gets around this problem by not requiring that you have lots of observations for each possible combination. Rather, the variables are assumed to be independent of one another. Therefore, the probability that a variable is dependent on any other value is eliminated. In other words, naive base classifiers assume that the effect of a variable value on a given class is independent of the value of other variables. This assumption is called class conditional independence. It is made to simpl simplify the computation and in the sense considered to be naive. This assumption is fairly strong assumption and is often applicable, not applicable. However, bias is estimated probabilities often may not make a difference in practice. It is the order of the probabilities, not their exact values, that determine the classifications. Studies comparing classification algorithms have found out that naive Bayesian classifier is comparable in performance with classification trees and neural network classifiers. Let us now look at how to use the naive Bayes algorithm for creating a classification model. Here we use the flying fitness model or the sample data in order to use the naive Bayes We select classification and naive Bayes. We select the variables that have to be used as input variables and the variable to be selected as output variables. We can sub as previous, we can specify the success class and the initial cutoff probability value. After specifying the above values, click on next. Step 2 of 3 asks us the prior class possibilities. We select according to relative occurrences in training data and then click on next. Here we select the options we wish to view in the output and then click on finish so that the Excel Miner tool, Excel Miner add-in can create the mining model. We can see the output for classification of the data set. While predicting the class of output variable, Excel Miner calculates the conditional probability that the variable may be classified to a particular class. In this case, the classes are 0 and 1. For every record in the validation data, the conditional probability for class 0 and for class 1 are calculated as shown. The maximum value amongst these possibilities is highlighted. The output also gives us a lift chart of the training data set. This is how we can create a classification model using the naive base algorithm. Let us now look at creating the classification model using the k nearest neighbors method. In the k-nearest neighbor classification, the training data set is used to classify each member of a target data set. The structure of the data set is that there is a classification or categorical variable of interest and a number of additional predictor variables. In the k-nearest neighbors classification, for each record, the k-nearest neighbors or the nearness is defined by the Euclidean distance of the record in question are identified and the class a majority of them belong to is determined. The original record is also attributed to the same class. Let us look at how to use the k nearest neighbors method for creating the classification model. 
we will use the iris.xls sample data provided along with the add-in. We will create the model on the training data. To do so, we need to select classification and k nearest neighbors. Here, the input variables have been selected along with the output variable. After selecting the variables, we click on next. We select normalize input data. Normalizing the data is important to ensure that the distance measure accords equal weights to each variable. Without normalization, the variable with the largest scale will dominate the measure. We will have to select the nearest neighbor or the value of k. Let us select that to be 10. and then we will select to score on the best k between 1 and the specified value. Using this option we can let the the Excel miner decide the best value of k. After selecting the above options we click on finish. We can see that the output contains a basic summary of the inputs we have provided along with the prior class probabilities which shows that the the three different species types had an equal probability. We can also see that the value of k which is used as the best value is 1. It also shows us a training data scoring summary and an error report. The classification, tree, classification of training data detail view shows us that the probability of each of the variables for each of the classes and also highlights the class for which the probability is maximum as shown in the figure. This is how we use the classification tools in data for data mining in Excel using Excel Miner. For more presentations, tutorial videos on data mining, please visit dataminingtools.net. Thank you.